Butterfly guard. He wants to clinch me, he wants to use his hooks, and he wants to be off of his back. Like most positions in Jiu Jitsu, you want to reverse what he's doing, you want to deconstruct what he's doing. So I don't want him to use his hooks, I don't want him to be sitting up, and I don't want him to clinch me. So let's, let's kill that, okay? The way that I do that is I'm able to put my opponent onto his back, whether with my head or my hands, and I'm going to start to kill his hooks. My knees start to come in close, my elbows can be in tight. Okay, I'm controlling his biceps because a lot of guys are going to want to get their arm underneath and start sitting up, create space, and start lifting me up and get underhooks and all that stuff. So I, if I have my arms out, I can control his biceps. If I have my body locked, sit up. If I have my body locked around him, then I can't use my hands as much, but it certainly does flatten him out. Okay? Come back and sit up. Okay? okay, so I got him down. Now what we're going to talk about here, guys, is getting over this leg. Step one. Okay? Step one, just put your hands there so the camera can see. Normally he'd be fine with his hands, of course, but hands here or here. Elbows are still in. I'm not like this. Pummel your arm to the inside. Is that underneath? Yeah, I don't want that, so I'm here, okay? Or it could be here like this, but I'm here. Okay, so now I want to get to one side. I keep my leg out and I come to the other side, so that I passed over like this. I was here, and I kicked one leg out and brought it to this one side. Of course, we can attack leg locks and heel hooks. Same side ankle locks, of course, okay? But right now we're just gonna pass, okay? So again, I'm here, put him on his back, I'm down. Kick my leg out, and I'm over here. Keep this hand here, not hooked around for almost flat or anything like that, still have pressure, still holding onto his body, still have weight here. Hand, forearm goes across the legs, I turn it down, move it out of the way, I come right inside, putting my hip against his hip, my elbow's over here, I have my hand in his armpit, there's no almost flat, there's no underhook happening. Okay, I'm able to block the turtle, anything like that. Okay, so if he starts to turn, I block his near side arm, I can come up in the side, whatever. So, again, I got him down, I kick over to one side, and now he starts to push my head down. He's sitting up, he's pushing my head away, I block his leg with this arm, and I pass to this side. The next problem is, I get over here, he starts to put his leg on my head, or on my back, right? So he's here. Whether he's pushing my head or not, he's got his leg on my back. This means I can't jump. So again, I'm cupping. I'm not reaching because that's Kimura and that's wrist control. Cupping, shove it out of the way. And now I'm inside. If he's got his hip escape going, he puts his leg over my back. In order for him to hip escape, he's got to drop his leg. Boom! I'm right here. So you got to know those. You gotta know those so much that you feel them. You feel when his legs on your back and you feel when his legs compressed. Okay, sit up, let's play through it again. So, using my head or my hands or both, I get underneath them, I flat them on his back. I get my knees to my elbows. I bring my leg over, boom. I'm here, fast. One. Right? Down. Leg over, I'm here. He pushes my head, jump over. I'm here. I pass. He's got his leg over my back. Again, pass. Again, I pass. He's got his leg over my back. I go to pass. He puts his foot down the hip escape. Boom. I pass. So that sequence, that sequence, without any submissions or anything like that, just knowing when his leg's on your back, knowing when he pushes your head, you can jump to the far side, and you can always switch like that, okay? back and forth. I see a lot of mistakes with guys doing that and they're trying to hip escape with this leg in and this leg over the back. You can't hip escape anywhere like this. You gotta know this guy's gonna put his foot down to hip escape and now you can jump. Head down, jumps over. Woo! Right away. Okay? So you gotta know that. If you're pushing that knee down the pass, you gotta know that he's either gonna put his foot down to hip escape or you gotta shove it through to step over. Slide over. Either way. Thanks, guys.